All right, we're gearing up for another six on your side day of service. Yeah, on Sunday, rain or shine, we're going to be volunteering with Family Promise of Knoxville. That is a nonprofit that helps homeless families. WATE on your side reporter Jill McNeil explains how this program works. After nine years in Knoxville, Family Promise has made a big move from this tiny house to a former church on Middlebrook Pike. Executive Director Mary Lament says this is the first step in doubling the number of families they can help at one time. Sadly, the only program now in Knoxville that can keep a family together in shelter is Family Promise. Really? We can only help four families. That leaves a huge gap. The new day center offers a playroom for the kids and computers to help parents find work. At night, the families sleep at local churches, a new one each week. It is difficult to move every week. Yes, it is. But we don't want you to stay too comfortable in the program either. We want you getting your goals, setting your goals, and making your transitions. In order to expand their program and help eight families at a time, yeah. Family Promise needs so seven really more Knoxville congregations to sign on to serve four weeks a year. There's a sense of community that is built. It is a wonderful opportunity for congregations to show their mission in this world. The WATE 6 on your side crew will be helping finish an outdoor playground for the children. When you can play, you can be free. You can be a kid. When you are in a homeless situation and you know your parents are so stressed, you're stressed too. It takes an average of 70 days for families to find permanent housing. Family Promise follows up for the next two years to help them keep it. Reporting in Knoxville, Jill McNeil, WATE 6, on your side. We should know we're going to have another six on your side day of service story coming up this Sunday on Good Morning Tennessee, uh, where we'll talk to a family getting help from Family Promise. I know you're going to be out there. I'll be out there on Sunday, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you'll help me learn how to build. I've never built a build the playground. Oh, yeah. Before. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while. It. My kids are a little bit older now. Yeah. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, we'll be out there working and looking forward to it. It should be a good day on Sunday. Great too. people out yeah. there. All right. Well, we are excited about our next six on your side day of service happening today. Our team is helping a nonprofit called Family Promise of Knoxville. It is the only local group offering shelter to homeless families who want to stay together. Well, new this morning, WATE Six on Your Side reporter Jill McNeil introduces us to a family of five back on their feet thanks to Family Promise. With three little boys, there's never a dull moment in the Warren family. Last year, parents Cody and Samantha found themselves in trouble. Cody couldn't get enough hours at work, and they lost their home in Jonesboro. There was nothing left for us up there. There was no jobs. We got kicked out of our house. They turned to Family Promise, a national nonprofit whose Knoxville branch has been operating for nine years. For a woman like that, I know that they kept the families together. And we knew that it's, it's not just a normal homeless shelter where you go and have a place to sleep and that's it. They actually work with you to get you on your feet and help you stay on your feet. Cody had a new job within three days. For the next three weeks, while they saved up money, they spent the night at local churches, a new one each week. No, no, just everybody was as nice as they could be. You know, that made you feel like, you're, like you was at home. But now, the Warrens really are home in an apartment they've rented for more than a year. That I promise was helpful. That coming into my own place was stressful. And, uh, dealing with three kids and a husband working. Because Family Promise follows each of their graduates for two years, they help the Warrens make it through that transition. It's gotten easier since. We first moved in. The family is stable now, but not settling. Samantha is working toward her GED. Cody is in management training at his job, and his recent employment history means they can move to a better apartment soon. In Knoxville, Jill McNeil, WATE 6, on your side. Many of us, including Ken and me, will be out building a playground today for the new Family Promise Day Center in Knoxville. 